Hi, my name is Brienne, and I'm a blogger over at The Huntswoman, and today we're going to be doing a haul from Dress Barn. And also, I just want to do a caveat that I know I have a sweet mullet happening right now. I'm kind of into it stylistically. I like things that I love, hate, you know, we're like uh, images or things that give me a really strong emotional response. I respect that. That said, I really should get a little haircut. Okay, cool. So today, we're doing a haul from Dress Barn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the review and talk about specific pieces. So how I'm going to structure this review is I'm going to talk about the pieces and hold them up and like talk about cool little details that I like and hold them up to the camera. And then I'm going to take a cute selfie or dance around, maybe a little 360 view um, of the piece so you guys can get an idea of what it looks like afterwards. Okay? So first up is this super cute stretch ribbed dress and if you're like me and you're like constantly wearing black I honestly wear a lot of black because I spill coffee on myself a lot it's not because I hate color I just hate coffee stains and also tied to go pens they can only do so much truly so what I really like about this dress is that what you're doing is you're drawing attention to the waist, which some people like to do. And then it has like some cute sparkle up at the top. And then the sleeves also have the pink and the sparkle material. And what's also really cool about this dress is the ribbing is the same. I don't know if you can see that. Like you can see the ribbing is the stretch. It's these horizontal lines. It's how the fabric was manufactured. And sometimes with dresses like this, companies will use different fabrics for the stripes. And then the fabrics will fit your body differently and stretch differently. So some may get stretched out. Like sometimes these dresses can get weird and droopy, which is like not a good look. So I really like that it's like the same manufacturing process. There's that rib for everything. Okay, and what's also fun is the ribbing on the sleeves is smaller than on the regular part, so it'll stay where you put it on your arms. This would be a really cute dress to wear with like a leather jacket, some tights, some boots, maybe a scarf, and go out and live your best life. As things get colder, you could also definitely put leggings underneath it. feel about this so these are work pants and normally pants that look like this have zero stretch right so you sit down in them and like you can just feel your body like constricted by the fabric but what's cool about this is the waistband has some stretch not so much stretch that it's going to droop and fall off your bum like halfway through the day because that's no fun but enough stretch that you can move around easily in it and not feel like you're dying and then what's also cool is the fabric has just a little bit of stretch just enough stretch so that you can sit down in it you can commute in it and you're still going to look super professional and fly but you're not going to have that like synthetic no stretch dress slacks feel these pants are 49.95 and also what I really like about Dress Barn is they kind of, they design for gnomes. <laughs> Here's what I mean by that. So I'm short, I'm like 5'3", maybe 5'4", on a tall day. I have pretty broad shoulders and I carry a majority of my weight in my bust and my stomach. So some people would call that being apple shaped. <laughs> Um, and when I go to like try on blazers, I often feel like I look like a linebacker. Um, when I try to find pants, I have the whole like fitting the fullest part of my hips or my stomach issue and then like it not matching up to my waist or being too long. But Dress Barn just really got it right. Like I feel like every plus size clothing store has a specific body shape that they design for. So if you're shaped like me, Dress Barn is your new best friend. Okay, next 
our list is this navy blue knit with like some vertical stripes in it. I actually didn't even think twice about this when I was just walking around Dress Barn, but then when I saw it on a mannequin, I was like, oh, that's interesting, that's cute. So this is a really cute dress. It has that same kind of shape as the first dress where it is gonna be curve accentuating, but not be super tight on your thighs. Do you know what I mean? Like sometimes with bodycon dresses, they go so tight over your thighs that it gets like awkward and rides up. This like curves in and then has a little like boop, just a little, little something, something to release the fabric. Um, can we see that? Yeah, so that's what it looks like with this like vertical stripe. And then this was like some patterning. This sleeve is gonna go to my elbows. Now it's a little long. <laughs> And because I grew up in a more conservative area, if uh, a dress hits my mid-calf and it's not like a wiggle dress with like a sweetheart neckline, I'm really not interested in wearing it. So we will see what I think about this. But this could just be really cute. Again, easy to layer with like a leather jacket or even a coat and some scarf. It's super thick. This is some like thick material. So it'll do a good job of keeping you warm. And this is $64.95. So the next one is this loosely woven sweater. And what I really liked about this is the colors that show up in the sweater. I usually look to colors to decide what pants to pair with it, right? So with this, we've got some navy blue, got some mustard yellow, got some white. Don't think I'll be wearing white pants in the fall. Yeah, you can even wear this like black pants, jeans, etc. And it's just like a cute cable knit sweater, three fourths length. And this was $42.95. Boop. There's a sort of mustard yellow color in the weave, which is really fun. <coughs> So I got some mustard pants. Now you guys, mustard-ish yellow has taken over the world, as we know. I don't really like wearing mustard yellow because just with my coloring, it kind of looks like I'm like a, there's a meme about this, like how it looks like you're an invalid from the 18th century. Like that's what I look like. It's just not a good time. So I was like, oh my God, I can wear a trend. Woot. I can wear a trend but not look like I'm dying of scarlet fever. Bonus. These are the Westport mid-rise skinny jean. Love me a mid-rise to keep my pants up without having to wear a belt. And then of course I love skinny jeans. And these pants, let me just swing that over my shoulder. They have a good amount of stretch but I have these pants um, and like a jean fabric, like a blue jean fabric. And I don't know if this has ever happened to you with skinny jeans that have a lot of stretch, is that they fit really good in the morning and then you kind of have like a droopy butt looking thing on the back, which nobody likes. So I haven't had that happen with Dress Barn pants, which is really nice. And also, Dress Barn has this skinny jean in other colors. I think I saw like a maroon or like a brickish red. There was like a beautiful, sea blue, sapphire -y tone, and then a forest green. I really was tempted to buy the forest green and not buy the yellow ones and like avoid getting out of my comfort zone, but we're doing it, kids. Here are the pants. Okay, so these were $32.95. And okay, so if you also have issues with like droopy butt syndrome hitting you in the afternoon with your pants, what you're gonna wanna do is look at the tag when you're buying clothing. Um, so this says 74% cotton, 24% polyester, and 2% spandex, which adds up to 100%. So good, we're doing good math. So 74% cotton is good. You want a majority 
of the fabric to be in cotton or a non-stretch material. Like if you bought something that's 100% cotton, that's not gonna stretch, so that's good. 24% polyester. So polyester is like a catch-all name for a lot of different fabric, but for our intents and purposes, basically it just means that they interwove polyester threads with cotton threads to add more stretch to the fabric, which is good. I normally go for like 80-20, 80% 80 cotton, 20% stretch, but 75 24 is fine. And then the last thing listed is 2% spandex. So spandex is cool is because you can stretch it and then it'll go back to the shape that it was. So spandex is a good thing that you can see in your clothes because it lets you know that it's not just gonna stretch out and then stay stretched out. Now this changes with brands and stuff, but I always like to look, check the label and see what's going on. <laughs> a rose pink faux suede waterfall-esque coat. I love it. I'm into it. Um, not a whole, some stretch, just a titch. And it feels so soft. And I also really love this, where'd it go? Where'd it go? This detailing in the back, I feel like this just helps it make it look more expensive. It's when you have seams running and tension you in. Love it. Okay, this was $54.95 at Dress Barn. I also love the big pocket. So to get the best deal at Dress Barn, here's what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to sign up for their texting alerts. That's where they send out a lot of like coupons. You're going to want to be on their email list. Sometimes their email list offers are different than their text message coupons. It's just the world we live in. Uh, I think the like last tip of the day will be that Dress Barn also has what they call DB dollars, I think, or it's basically like torrid hot cash, hot cash, whatever, where they give you a certain amount of money off for money that you spend. So like I have a bunch of $5 off of 25 DB dollar coupons that I can use over a certain time period. So again, <clears throat> that I can use over a certain time period. Uh, yeah, so again, one, sign up for texts, two, emails, three, DB dollars are your best friend. Okay, cool. So thus concludes the Dress Barn haul. Um, links to all of the pieces are in order in the description. They are affiliate links, which means I do earn a small commission from people purchasing them. Pro tip, most bloggers do this. I will be sharing pictures, like outfit pictures of me out in nature at a pumpkin patch on my Instagram at the underscore Huntswoman. If you'd like to see more plus size hauls or if there's a brand that you would like me to review, go ahead and pop that in the comments and thanks for subscribing. Have a good night, bye guys.